Furious 7. Taylor's uh, favorite movie of the year. Uh, now, oh, you, uh, <laughs> you have to admit, this one is better than the okay, last couple. That, that I will do, excluding every single thing to do with The Rock. In this no, one? he makes them so stupid. It's th- awful. The Rock is annoying in this one. I'll give He's you that. He's dumb? And, and and there's a few things that he does. And we'll get to it. And yeah. I'm sure you know, but it's he he. There's no way he's this bad. Like I've seen him in other things, and he's fine. So is he going out of his way to be bad? I don't think so. So Vin Diesel is not. a producer okay. of this movie. Like he's kind of. And this the, one was not Justin Lin, right? It was uh, James Wan. Wan. Okay. Yeah. Um, and he's. He's familiar. What he's done other things, right? He's done horror movies, but I, I don't know. I don't, I'm not, um, I not feel exactly like he sure. did like a Leonardo DiCaprio movie or something. Is it Shutter yeah. Island? Was it? Oh, I'll look it up. No, wasn't that Scorsese? Shutter Island. Maybe. He's yeah. I don't know. Let me see. Um. Yeah, he's got all horror movies. He did Death Sentence, and he did some. He did the first Saw. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe I'm thinking of something else then. I don't know. I I, I recognize his name. Yeah. Um. No. Yeah, you're right. So, like I was saying, uh, Vin Diesel is the producer, and okay. so he gets a lot of say for number eight him and the rock had like a really public oh yeah fight. i've read about Few. that and so i wonder it is super petty it sounds like too yeah well okay uh, this is not meant to be rude but oh boy so incoming rude comment <laughs> uh vin diesel is in much better shape than i am but okay he is in not nearly as good a shape as a rock no, I don't know if there's a lot of people that are in better shape than that. No, but I think... And not just bigger, just better. Yeah, and but I think Vin Diesel is... Now, this is... It's all speculation. I have no idea. Like, uh-huh. I, sh- I just want to be clear about that. But I think he's, like, somewhat jealous because he he's is supposed to be... The this, big guy. The big guy in these movies. That's and, why he cast Paul Walker. Yeah, Maybe. Um, uh, but, I could see all that. I mean, he was so much. He was a, he was in really good shape in the first one, right? He was big, he was strong, and then right. he's not that anymore. He's gotten pretty soft in comparison. And again, I'm not trying to pick on Vin Diesel. Just an observation between the two movies, or from the first to this one, he's gotten older. He's not nearly in good shape as he was, and so I think there's a lot of conflict of. Vin Diesel and The Rock and their physiques. And so I, yeah, I, I, I'm sure. I think Vin Diesel underutilized The Rock in this one because he gets hurt in the beginning and is out. Oh, he, which, by the way, should be dead. Dead. Yeah, 100%. Should be so dead. <laughs> they should both be dead. But he landed and, on and a car. Girl. Don't you know cars are so exactly. soft? Exactly. <laughs> We'll get to that. That was... Oh. So I think, and this is, again, speculation on my part, but based on certain things, I think Vin Diesel doesn't like The Rock because it makes him look worse physically. And so they brought him in. The Rock's got a contract. Vin Diesel's a, like annoyed by that. And so they're underutilizing him. So The Rock is annoyed by that. And so it's just like this weird... like Power struggle. Yeah. But uh, but it's dumb. But so so I I know that that all kind of have started happening like towards the end of filming seven, right? And then going into eight or whatever. It was eight where it all became public, where The Rock oh, okay. like posted stuff on Instagram about. I so I saw that yeah. and I thought, dude, come on, be a professional. It it yeah. felt like a, like a high school post. Yeah, it was very petty for sure. It was super petty. It yeah. was just and it was just like uh, it, it made him come off sounding 
are you dumb and childish yeah but he does but, like in so because in um he came in in six no five five and his presence does make these movies better uh i think i think uh I don't know. Uh, maybe because it. I think they they have potential, but I think he just does so bad in them. They because they've built up Vin Diesel and the whole team as these superhero type people that you yeah. need. You needed one for him to be the antagonist, even though he was the cop, right? To be larger than life to compete, and then he comes over to their side, and it's like you kind of understand like, I don't know. I, I think he's a good addition. I just, I think they don't use him correctly. And also all yeah. the time he says woman, that always oh, gosh, seems so weird. <laughs> where it's either woman or boy. Yeah. It's a weird character boy. trait. Uh, boy. That it just seems like a weird choice. I don't know. It, it It's the way he says it. It just feels sexist. Yeah, and I think that's and the I'm sure point. It's not. I don't know if it is. I don't think The Rock is sexist, but I think Hobbs right. is. I think that's the... I don't know. I don't know if his idea is just like, oh, it's just a fun thing, but it, it does come just, off as sexist. It's, it's my character's thing. Yeah. Um, uh, I don't know. Well, uh, okay, so let's, let's dive in. I yeah, guess. so the opening scene is interesting. I think it's a cool idea. I don't know how much I like it, though, but it's... Uh, you have Jason Statham, who we find out is Owen Shaw's brother. His name. Spoilers to the last podcast we ruined. I it know. For me. Sorry. Uh, he's Deckard Shaw, and he's sitting there talking Deckard. to him, and he's like, "Deckard, dumb name Shaw." <laughs> um, basically, like you know, you've always needed me to come save you. Here I am. I'm, you know, no one's coming after you. You're my brother. I'm going to take care of you, type of thing. And yeah. then they do this really ambitious one shot take or one uh a single shot walking, walking through the out. hospital yeah yeah and which technically is really cool and i get i, I, I get the idea yeah. but it is so over the top where it's like it's a cool introduction but it's also like so cheesy at the same time because you walk through this hospital and there's just bullet holes and things are broken, dead people all over the place. Yeah. And he's just like so calm, so relaxed that it's just like, okay, he's, I, I, I don't think that scene should have been the introduction. I guess maybe it's more of my point to his character. No. no, I think showing him having all these skills and then coming into it again later and you seeing it, it would be a more interesting use of that scene. But again, I understand what they were doing. It just, I don't know, it just felt. I will, I will be honest though, watching that scene, I, I, I can, I was immediately like, okay, this is already a better movie than any of these other ones. Oh yeah. Yeah. For I sure. can tell this one's going to have like actual quality to it. Mm-hmm whether or not the story's good like the effort is there yeah no they're like it told the story is what it did yeah. you know what i'm saying like he walks through it and you're like as you're seeing everything you're like oh wow so okay i get like this happened and this happened and it's like that doesn't happen in the <laughs> the last four movies we watched there's no right. visual storytelling it's just like yeah we're just doing this thing because it'll look cool and with this mm -hmm. one is like there's a lot of thought process behind it. You know what I mean? Um, I agree with that until I see the part where they're jumping a car through buildings. Oh, that's so cool, though. <laughs> Are you serious? I thought that was so dumb. No, it was bad. I hated that. I didn't I hate it. So it's like it's a cool, in retrospect of the whole series, it's a cool, the te technical thing of it. You know what I'm saying? Had they, had they only done it once? maybe yeah the fact that they did it twice twice it's a bit much oh i <laughs> come on but you so, might as well just do it like 10 straight buildings just keep going point. just from floor to just floor <laughs> across the whole town <laughs> the whole city um, never touching the ground um so we we see that opening scene and we know okay deckard shaw is i don't even know what to call him 
right? Like he's the ultimate he's fighter. Like, yeah. like it's just, I don't know. He's a killing machine. Yeah. It's just nothing can stop him. He's unstoppable, right? And the only people who can stop him is clearly Vin Diesel and his group of street racers. Right. Uh, which, in this one, they had a line where Vin Diesel says, like, I'll leave that up to you. We're just a bunch of street racers. And I'm like, what? Why are you guys changing this, this whole thing? Like, that's never been the, the idea before. Right. But... Uh, then we find out that Owen Shaw or Deckard Shaw is coming after Vin Diesel and his team to get back for him fighting with Owen. Yeah, not even killing his brother. Come on. Yeah. He just hurt him a little bit. And they blow up the house and they, well, he kills Son, not Son, uh, Jin? Uh, no. <laughs> what is it? Uh, Han. Han. Son is his real name. Is the problem. I'm pretty sure it's his real name. Now I'm Is down it? to myself. I'm pretty sure. He kills uh-huh. kills Han. Um, he blows up the house. Does he attack anyone else? That's it, right? Um, I believe that's it, yeah. And so they go to the funeral for Han. Oh, well, there's also Lucas Black is back in this one. What do you think of that? Yeah, cameo? they should have cut that whole thing out. That was yeah, stupid. It was bad. He's so much older. They show the clip from Tokyo Drift. Yeah. Where he's like 20. Then they show another clip when he's 30. And he's like 90 years old. Yeah. There's a big difference. I don't I don't know. Whatever whatever time frame, age difference between the two, there's a big change. Like if you would have done the same thing from Vin Vin Diesel from the first one to now, it's like Oh wow, that's very different. Or Paul Walker, or any of them. Just time changes the way yeah. you look. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's, it's not Lucas Black's fault that he got older. It's the filmmakers mm. for trying to use that. I same- beg to differ. <laughs> Who else's fault would it be? He is in control. No one else. You're right. Uh, yeah. So that was kind of goofy to bring him back. Like it was a cool nod, I guess. But it no, was. It wasn't. It was. It was a crappy nod to the crappiest movie. Yeah. Uh, three's not the worst, for sure. Ooh, no, it's definitely the worst. No way. Well, actually, um, it is. So, it is so, <laughs> it's so. Bad. I would say six is worse than three. Uh, okay. Quick, refresh me on six. That was with the airplane where Giselle oh, jumps no. off, shoots okay. the guy. Where Vin Diesel gets launched over the bridge and catches Letty and slams into a car. Letty comes back from the dead, but has amnesia. They- that was all dumb. That was all bad because it was just like unrealistic and yeah. stuff. But Tokyo Drift was just stupid. Uh, it was so crappy. I don't know about that. It, Tokyo Drift has no redeeming qualities. The drifting is cool. Nah, not really. <laughs> The story is more cool. grounded. If it was cool, it would be in the other movies. They it would do be here in America. They drift in the other movies and all the Not movies. Really. They start. Yeah, they do. They they don't make a deal like a big deal out of it. But they look until I see them drive into a crowd and the crowd parts perfectly <laughs> in the shape of a drift. <laughs> then they're not drifting. Yeah, true. That's true. That's the only way I I know if someone's drifting. Yeah. Well, back to seven. Or if there's or if there's someone called Drift King. <laughs> back. as we call DK <laughs> getting back to seven they go to Han's funeral and they see Deckard show up and Vin Diesel chases him down and they play chicken and they just slam into each other the, there's a yeah. certain amount of toughness that I hated that because they should be dead not make you survive like if you get t- yeah, it, t-boned in a car at a mm-hmm. fast enough speed. At a, the, even a, an, an average speed. Well, th- your heart, the vein, the aorta will yeah. rip off. The force of your heart slamming to the side like that can mm-hmm. rip apart your heart and the aorta. Oh, and yeah. so, and, and you, even if that doesn't happen, your, your head yeah, going brain from side damage. to side like that? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. The, there's a lot of things that you, you can't just out tough. You know, no, like, no, 
No matter if you're The Rock or whatever. Vin Diesel and Jason said, and well, definitely not if you're Vin Diesel. Like you said, he is soft. <laughs> you called him out, and you were right. <laughs> well, he. It's funny because I watched the behind the scenes stuff for this one, and I was so disappointed because I've been watching the uh, director's commentaries for all these because I was yeah. so curious about number seven, and they didn't do one for seven. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, they just did this weird like. Don't they do it for like every movie ever? In I the thought world? so. I thought so, but they didn't do it for seven, which I was the most interested in. Cause I was curious about the Paul Walker stuff and how they got ah, around it. Yeah. Um, but they show clips of like Vin Diesel from further off. And it's like the editing for the movie is like, you know, much tighter on him and like to make him look bigger, stronger than he actually appears, you know? And again, I'm not like trying to pick on the guy. It's just interesting though. I don't know what to call it. The, you know the what I'm saying? cinematography around it. Well, no, the 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 intention behind it to make yeah. him seem like he is so big and is so strong still, and it's just so. So since Vin Diesel is the producer, but you know, so he's got say, but he's not the director. Do you think he had to have these conversations with the director, like, "Hey, uh, you made me look like bigger." Well, I, I think it's not like even that. like just his like vanity. I think it helps the movie to keep him consistently big and strong because he has to be imposing. Do you know what I'm saying? So like, even if it wasn't, yeah. even if he was not insecure about it, which I don't know if that's the case or not. Um, yeah. I would imagine the director would want to keep that consistent because that's part of his character. Do you know what I'm saying? Like he's this big, strong, yeah, no, tough I'm with guy. You. But, Hold on one second. I got to plug my computer in. Yeah. Um, so something, something you could take on Vin Diesel. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Vin Diesel are going to do a bodybuilding show together. See who wins. No, I'm not, I like I'm not, I'm not trying to pick on him at all. Like, I don't, I don't think he Look, looks like this is 2018. Uh, I thought bullying was dead. <laughs> I don't think he's like out of shape. I don't think he looks bad. He just doesn't like you compare him to the rock and he is not imposing, but they, the movie wants you to feel like they're on the equal level. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. But anyways, so Vin Diesel and Jason Statham crash. Then you find out that 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 so ridiculous. Jason Statham had reinforced his car and Vin Diesel's like, that's like going into a fight with weighted gloves, which uh, I love. If it was a fight to the, if it if you were in a fight to the death, yeah, I'll go into a fight with weighted gloves. I loved his response, which was like, "I'm not going in to lose or whatever." Something basically like, "Who cares? Like, I'm trying to kill you. You get that, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Like, I want you dead. I'm not. I'm, this I'm not this worried not about the duel. rules. Yeah. Um, which I thought I thought Jason Statham's character is really like fleshed out in this. Yeah, but, I thought he was fine in this. Uh, I have any problems. Where all the other characters are kind of one note. Like garbage. Yeah. You know, Vin Diesel is the genius strong guy, which I still don't I don't understand that development. Ludacris is the the genius the hacker. hacker guy, which also I don't understand. <laughs> I don't nope, know I don't get that. where that came from. And Paul Walker is like a ninja who has like understanding of the police, which is weird also. Uh, Letty is like a ninja. Also, like it's just, I don't it's, yeah, no, it's, for sure, it's very strange. Um, but all that being said, it's still fun time. But this is when Kurt Russell shows up. So Jason Statham gets away. Kurt Russell shows up, Mister Nobody. Which I feel like you could have workshopped a few more names, come up with something a little bit more, <laughs> Mister Nobody. <laughs> but whatever. Uh, He takes him back to the headquarters and is like, I'm going to help you catch Deckard, which Vin Diesel was like, "Uh, I just had him. You helped him get away. What are you talking about? Fair enough point, right? Like, why not just kill him when you showed up? That would have solved my problems, but whatever. Um, And then again, they want Vin Diesel's team 
to help them because they're the best team in the world. But they're but why? I don't know. I don't understand that. Uh but so they find out they need to catch or get the god's eye. And so they bring the team in and they start going over the thing. And this is I thought uh this scene with um Tyrese being like, I want a chance to be in charge. I thought that was a pretty funny scene. Yeah, no. Like I said, I, I've pretty much enjoyed most of Tyrese and Ludacris' scenes. Yeah. Um, There was something that he did that I wanted to remember, and I don't. <laughs> okay. It, it Do wasn't that mem- <laughs> memorable, I guess. Hold on. I'm going to go watch it again real quick. All right. I'll be right back. Um, But yeah, it was, I think it was during that scene. It was something. But yeah, that was funny. Yeah, and so they he plans the well he sort of plans he like gives them the idea for parachuting the cars out of the plane what did you think of this scene hated it did you really hated it so much i thought it was funny i thought tyrese was was funny in it i thought it was funny that like they forced him to jump with the parachute yeah like that that that's fine but i think the the overall idea is so dumb yeah i don't know if uh, it seems physics will allow something like that to happen but well i'm sure physics fine because i'm pretty sure that they do airdrop vehicles yeah like tanks and humvees and stuff like that it's it's possible yeah also haven't you seen the movie operation dumbo drop where they airdrop (laughs) an elephant yeah that is real i'm pretty sure it's based on a real move or real story i think so and also it's got danny glover but uh so what did you hate about it i just think it's dumb that they can do it so easily like it's not even like a, a second thought mm. if they're not trained whatsoever they've probably never jumped out of a plane yeah but it's just it i feel like you would have to be very very skilled to pull it off yeah and like even then it's super risky mm-hmm. and they they're not they're not those i don't think that they have the skills to do anything that they do in these movies oh, other than not. drive yeah well, that's the thing. I'm okay with that, but that doesn't that doesn't translate to also driving out of the sky, <laughs> like, or you know, through buildings. Yeah, no, for but sure. I I just I thought it was dumb. Yeah, uh, I think Tyrese's reaction is what makes that scene fun, because he's like scared the whole time and screaming and you know freaking out. He's and like, that's, he's like, no, he's like, I'm gonna watch from up here. I'm good. But you <laughs> someone up here watching everything and, and which i get but i feel like in real life that would be like everybody yeah yeah no based on their experience it should have been everybody yeah. everyone should have had the same reaction there's there's an episode of cheers i don't know how much of cheers you've watched where they all decide to go skydiving yeah and they're all like super on board for it and then once they get up in the air like they all talk each other out of going <laughs> yeah, and they don't know one ends up jumping, but they do it like three separate times because they've now told a lie that now everyone believes that they have skydived. Oh, okay. And yeah. I, I don't remember the rest, but they end up going up in there like three separate times only to <laughs> not do it. Um, but they end up, so they end up jumping out of the plane and they get on the road and they are able to get Ramsey and the God's eye. And, um, what's his name? Tony Ya, Tony Ye, the martial artist. Would, uh, I don't know. What is his name? Um, Tony Ja, is that what it is? Is he well known? Yes. Not to me. <laughs> um, him and <sighs> Paul Walker get in a fight on that bus. Uh, I like that. Tony Ja. The only thing I didn't like about it is Tony Ja grabs Paul Walker and throws him into the bus when he could have easily just been like, group. And the guy, yeah. Paul Walker, would have just bounced off the concrete and died. Like, yep. there was no reason to bring him back in for the fight. That was like a big issue for me where they could have just solved that by having Paul Walker confront him inside of the bus. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. It, yeah. It's just a couple simple. There was a better way to get to where they wanted to, to, yeah. to where they got. But the him running on top of the bus and jumping off 
was cool yeah. although him grabbing onto the spoiler was kind of goofy like they they uh, kind of undercut these really cool moments with these really dumb resolutions do you know yeah. what i'm saying like oh, had, I do. had he jumped off the bus and like caught onto the the um the, the cliff edge or the whatever. cliff edge and letty pull up and jump out of her car and grab him or something like that you know what i'm mm-hmm. saying like that would have been one plausible <laughs> like it was already like borderline unrealistic but yeah it's, but it's not but to, yeah to add that last part it's like okay the whole the whole time i'm thinking watching that scene where he grabs a spoiler i'm like oh no that would just rip right off <laughs> Like oh, I, for sure. I feel like if I held a spoiler and someone just tried to drive away, I could probably keep the spoiler with me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they're not like attached super well. They're made out of fiberglass and just screwed on. So mm-hmm. I was like, oh, he would have just shot right off. But anyways, this is one of those small dumb things that does doesn't matter, but it like takes me out of it when it. Yeah. Which is frustrating when it seems like it could have been solved easier. But. So they have Ramsey in the car with Vin Okay, Diesel. hold on. Have we have we officially talked about the scene with the rock at the hospital? Or not the hospital, but falling out the window? Oh no, no, we haven't. You're right. Because that was that was at the that was at the beginning, right? That, yeah, that was before he blew up the house. God, there were so many stupid things that he says. <laughs> and there was one in that scene where he's he confronts Jason Statham trying yeah. to get the information. And I was like, that is so stupid. Yeah. Like, it's just a stupid dialogue. He's got the worst dialogue of anybody. Which is but weird because he's actually really good on the spot. The Rock. You mean like like an improv type? Yeah. Like when he was doing wrestling and stuff like that. He's always really good at speaking. Yeah. And like I said, it's never ever stood out to me in any other movie yeah. that he's like not, a you know, at least a, a good actor. Mm-hmm. So for it's it's the dialogue is so bad. It's just and it's been like that in all of the movies that he's been in yeah. for these. So I don't know who to blame other than yeah, I I don't know whose choice I don't know his character is. You know what I mean? Cuz it's a, the the dialogue fits his character. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, which is why I don't like his character. Yeah. No, it's just fair. But I'm saying, like, I don't know if it's bad writing or he's like, this is who my character is. This is what my character would do or how he would say it. So let's so go you with think that. He, he could just be making a choice. Yeah, it's one of he's... it's one of those things, right? It's either he's making yeah. the choice to be that or they're writing it for him that way and he doesn't have a lot of room to change it. Do you know what I'm saying? And I, I feel like it's probably more of that. Yeah, because I think he's better in the next one too. He's less misogynistic and less stupid. Yeah. Um. Oh, because he, I, I don't remember what he says to to Deckard, but I was like, "Wow, that was so dumb." Yeah, that was almost as bad, almost as bad as. Now hit me with the veggies. <laughs> that yeah, one is still the worst i don't remember the the specific lines but i did like i thought that fight scene was pretty good between the rock yeah, and no, Jason that was Stacey a good fight scene until the end uh, i didn't have any problems with the fights in this movie uh that i can remember like i thought they were all fine yeah and uh, yeah like I said, until he gets thrown out the window or whatever blown, blown out the out window, the window yeah how how many stories was that 20 Ten? yeah a lot more than enough yeah but he so he Did goes not- Jason Statham throws like a grenade and the rock sees it and runs over to the girl and grabs her and they both get blown out the window. He falls out of the building, holding the girl, the girl being the other FBI agent. And they land on a car with the rock hitting the car first, breaking the fall, protecting the girl. None of that would happen. From that height, from that height, your body turns to liquid at that point. Yeah. His Um, bones would turn to dust. Yeah. And on her, top of that, her, her, she, she would, would also, probably die too. Yeah. But you are, you also have to contribute. Her whole body weight is also landing on top of you, on yeah. top of you with that velocity. Yeah. That, that it's also crushing you from both sides. 
Yeah, I, it, none, dead. <laughs> none of it She's makes sense. Dead. They're both dead. You're all dead. You, you have turned into one person. <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure uh, cars are hard. Oh, like, yes. Like, they always Quite. give way, but, like, there's things that would, like, stab you and, like, slice you up also, too. Oh, it's you know? jagged, yeah, for sure. <laughs> like, it's not just, they always, like, make it like, oh, this is a soft place to land. Like, in the last I, one, I, we're it, letting... It's probably, you probably do stand, maybe stand more of a chance of landing on a car than, like, flat Concrete. on the pavement. Yeah. Because the pavement has no give to it. Yeah, I mean, if but you're going to choose... you're going to die... Yeah, yeah. Like maybe if you're jumping from like the third f- or falling from like the third floor, maybe. But also you're you're not you're landing <laughs> flat on your back. What was that? You're movie? also the, destroying your head. The other your guys. Head, you are dead. Oh yeah, ex- <laughs> exactly. That's the best. That's like the best. What are they? They're trying to jump into a bush, right? They're like aim for the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> and they just jump like thirty <laughs> stories down and just <laughs> smash it through oh, the pavement. Man. But oh yeah, uh yeah. So that so not only does he survive, but he's like, I'm pretty much fine. Yeah, he got, like, he's got a broken this is arm. A routine I think. hospital stay. Yeah, I broke my arm. Bummer. It's okay though, because it's still strong enough for me to Hulk out of the cast. <laughs> Which was the lowest point of the movie to me. <laughs> that was pretty dumb. It was so... S- That's not the way <laughs> muscles work. It, it, it was dumb. It was stupid. It was poorly written. It was poorly executed. Well, it, it, was, it acts like... Every, the, the angle was stupid. He Everything had, about it was so dumb. It acts like he had a baby arm that turned into his <laughs> monster arm, right? Yeah, like, like he turned into the his, Hulk. His arm, when you flex, it's not like you get a lot of extra size it, it they would have cast it around his natural arm and then he would have flexed and only gained a little bit extra you know what i'm exactly. saying like it's not like he just gained 10 inches that shattered the thing it's just he, he tore through that cast easier than the hulk tears through his like shirts yeah it's so stupid it was so dumb it was at that point where i was like i hate this i want to turn it off i'm done this yeah. is so stupid no, yeah, no, it was dumb Luckily, for sure. I have a whole lot of screen time in this one. Well, before I, I'm worried I'm going to forget this point, so I just want to talk about it now. Okay. But Vin Diesel and Jason Statham fight at the end, and it gets shot by the drone. And then Vin Diesel says, "Here's the thing about street fights: the streets always win." And then he jumps <laughs> and punches the ground and causes the whole building to start collapsing. Yep, that was so stupid. That was the best part of any movie. Oh, so oh, good. I, I hate it also, and we've had this discussion in uh, previous movies, where he drove off the, the overpass onto the drone. Yeah, how would he ever like, time that? You, But also, it's not like you can visualize it, because it's in a tunnel. Yeah, you that's... have no idea where it's at. Oh, it was so stupid. Yeah. It was so dumb. And it, like I said, it's not like he's sitting on the edge, and then he like rolls off onto it he's going full speed <laughs> yeah. from far away yeah oh my gosh it's so stupid and all these stupid scenes <laughs> feature the rock um maybe 90 percent of a the movie of scenes that i have a real problem with are him yeah between him and then lucas black <laughs> well there's also vin diesel like to me vin diesel's way worse than the rock every time vin diesel's on screen it's annoying to me way more than the rock is because oh i have a i didn't i don't have too much of a problem with vin diesel really i cannot stand him in these but he drives so at the end of the movie he drives his car off that ramp and hooks a bag of grenades onto the the helicopter and from like 500 yards away the rock sees the bag like shoots it yeah well he's like and, and, oh and there's a knows. bag hanging on it he, i must shoot that bag explosives. yeah there's no reason why he would know any of that like if i would have seen that from the rocks vantage point i would be like oh vin diesel tried to kamikaze the car through the helicopter but missed because physics yeah. and it had been like that was it he failed at that we uh we should figure something out but he's like oh there's a bag hanging that must have been his plan and he somehow hits it 
It's just like that. That's so crazy. It. Everything about it was so yeah dumb. Um, what did you think of the whole Letty, him, Vin Diesel being married after all? Secret marriage storyline. Um, I didn't. It didn't really affect me. Yeah, I just. I don't understand why they killed her. Oh, hold on. You all right? Okay, I'm back. I don't understand why they. (laughs) I don't understand why they had to kill Letty. Like, that and bringing Han back added so much unnecessary plot holes. Oh, for sure. Like. I don't know. Justin Lin. I I just really don't like anything Justin Lin did. Yeah, no, he's pretty awful. Um but what else happened in Furious Seven? Uh oh boy. <laughs> what else? Well what do you think of all the stuff with Paul Walker? Cause that was a big deal coming into this movie when it came out, right? Because Paul Walker had his accident and died halfway through filming this. And they had yeah. to come in and they changed some stuff around. And they had to use his brothers at some points and composites. And there's that scene at the end, which I think the send off for Paul Walker is actually really nice. Like they did it. Oh, really I know. Well. I thought that was really good. Yeah, for sure. It's but, probably the highlight of the whole series. Yeah. But the CGI that they use right there at the end where when they, when he pulls up in the car. Yeah. It's so unsettling, you know, it, cause it, it, it feels like it shifts a little bit. Well, it does. Cause they, they use some scenes from other movies of him driving exactly, yeah. and then they cut it together to try to make it seem more seamless. Like it's one take, but it's like the, the uncan- uncanny Valley type thing, you know, where it's like, you, you just, you know, something's off, even though it yeah. looks good. It's like, no, something's wrong here. Your brain won't accept it. That's- but I'm, I'm able to, I'm, a, I'm able to look past all that because it, it was for me at least it was the 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 thought you know and the mm. that, that counts for it so yeah. that's yeah it's not the best it probably could be done a little better maybe i don't know but yeah no i'm just saying everything but that cgi scene where they show his face it was like really good like really well done the the other thing though was at han's funeral they're like this isn't the last funeral there's one more and paul walker says this and uh, Tyrese looks at him or Ludacris looks at him. He's like his, but I was just like, man, I feel like maybe cut that scene out. Right. That one was pretty bad. Yeah. It seemed like you guys know he's dead, you know, like don't have the character of reference and upcoming funeral when, you know, I don't know. I don't know if they were like trying to subvert expectations because everyone watching the movie knew he died in real life. So like, Oh, are they going to, died in the movie are they yeah are they gonna kill him in the movie like that seems un- insensitive like but how else do you tie this up and so i don't know if they're like subverting like foreshadowing to as a purpose to subvert expectations or what but it just yeah. seemed kind of insensitive to leave that in there to me i, I don't know maybe yeah, I'm no i'm with you so what all was redone yeah and reshot so besides obviously that ending scene yeah the ending like, okay the the scene on the beach mm-hmm. right that's that's not like paul walker uh, right in the water with the kid i don't think so i think that was his brothers okay maybe that that specific part but they're i mean they're on the beach and they're talking right and, so that talk- was w- at which point before before vin diesel leaves when they're all kind of sitting there on the beach mm-hmm Paul, there, Paul Walker's there. He's like definitely that's him. No, that I'm pretty sure. I, uh, everything on the beach was not Paul Walker. Are you sure? He's he's playing in the water. Everyone yeah, else. Yeah, when, when Vin Diesel leaves, he's playing in the water. But, but he, I don't think he. There's ever, a point where he's. With, I'm pretty sure there was a point where he's with the group. No, I don't think maybe, so. Maybe I'm misremembering. Yeah, I think I think you're thinking of the movie before. No, no, no. I, I'm not thinking of that. I know that. Um, but. The whole final thing is all of them looking at Paul Walker playing in the water with his kid. Right. right? And I, 
I figured at that point that was not him. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> um, uh, then I think the factory fight with Jason Statham, I think that was mostly his brothers. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. And then the I think they changed the storyline to have them go take Jordana Brewster to uh, the Dominican Republic. So when oh. she's on the phone with him, I think that's all was changed because of his death like i think that was something separate um but it's they did a really good job at piecing things together and like i don't think they used his brothers as much as they made it seem like they're going to need to but i think they they used them to connect things that weren't originally a part of the story do you know what i'm saying yeah yeah like they just had a they used the, his brothers to like connect scenes that wouldn't make sense otherwise because it wasn't the right context. But. but yeah, I thought I thought that was good. I didn't realize that the song was made for this movie. Oh, well, was it written for it? I, I don't know. Yeah, that's what it said. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I no, I, I thought it was it a, a had like a little mini like monologue type thing or whatever. I thought it was a really respectful send off. Like, yeah, and I'm glad that they were able to do where they don't like they didn't feel like they had to kill him off and yeah. just let him go. Yeah. But uh so overall, Furious Seven, it I think it's definitely better than the last few. Um it's still I mean it's got its issues for sure, but I think that this is a, a good turning point for the series. And I thought this happened earlier on. I thought I thought they started making the turning point to where it's still ridiculous, but the stories got better, was like in five. Yeah. But no, I was wrong. No, no, <laughs> uh, very, very mistaken. But yeah, so seven, I think, is pretty good. What's your overall opinion of it? Uh, I think it's the best of all of them. Yeah, it's still, it's to me, it's still, it's too cheesy to like really enjoy. Yeah, but at least it's not like it's. It's got its moments where I dread it, but it wasn't like that the whole movie like it is with, like with Tokyo Drift. Yeah. Well, I went into uh, it. Basically, anything with The Rock is awful. <laughs> After watching uh, 4, 5, and 6, I was like, man, maybe I was wrong. Maybe these are all really just bad. And then I watched this, and I was like, oh, okay, no. I just didn't remember the other ones very well. Yeah. But this is because, you know, obviously I watched 7 and 8, the latest before we started watching these that was my impression of the series where i think seven is a fun movie like it doesn't have there's like a lot of goofy things that happen and a lot of dumb stuff that happens but overall it's it's done really well and they like are aware that it's goofy and that when it's goofy they're like not trying to force you into thinking that this could happen they're just like have fun with this type of attitude you know what i'm saying yeah. Whereas the other ones, I felt like they're like, oh, yeah, no, this definitely could happen. <laughs> and there's just no, there's no way. What are you talking about? No, it's, it's not going to happen. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we got one more. Furious 8. Fate for of now. the Furious. For now. Are you excited for it, though? Now, after watching 7? <laughs> not even close. Oh, you should be. It's good. The Rock. Uh, you, you've said that about every single one. I, I, but I've I've also admitted that I was wrong until we got to this one. This is one. Yes, I'm I'm ready for you to admit you were wrong after this one. Huh? Th- I I think no. What seven was was what I was been thinking the whole series was. Wow. Uh, is what I'm saying. Like I thought getting to five because we watched it and I said number two's not great, three's you know gonna get goofy, but then it's gonna start picking up. Once we, you know, we get past that, I just had that impression that the feeling of watching seven is what started in five, but I was wrong. Yeah. It didn't start until seven. So my impression of the series is based off of seven and eight. So I think you'll enjoy eight more than you enjoy I think I'll enjoy it more than the other ones for yeah, sure. But that's what I'm saying. But that's not hard. <laughs> well, we'll see. You'll, you'll love it. It'll be your favorite movie of all time. But uh, we'll be back. If you want to go check that out, you should be able to see it on Patreon right now. For a dollar, you get access to all our episodes two weeks in advance. 
And uh, yeah, I don't know what we're doing after eight, but it should be up there as well. Oh, yeah. Who knows? But thanks for listening. And uh, Taylor sucks. Woo! <laughs>